I just wanna put a hundred mil in the safe Don't give a f what it takes No, no, I'm on my grind what they say Ain't no lame looking eating on my plate Oh, no, 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 no What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video And today, I'm gonna be doing a haul um, not a vlog, but this video is going to be what's in my high school bag. Um, cesarean edition. Okay, so I'm going to be nice, short, simple, and sweet. Before we get into this video, you guys, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure your post notification bell is turned on. Make sure you like this video and drop us a comment down below. We also do, um, comment shout outs which is you leave us a comment yes which is you leave us a comment and we'll give you a shout out and the uh, next video so today's um, shout out goes to um, actually I want to get the spelling correct and the two names correct. I don't want to say anybody name wrong, so I'm going to do it towards the end of the video. I'm going to make sure so that way I can um, get the spelling and put it down at the bottom just in case I don't say it correctly. So let's get into this video, guys. Um, nice, short, simple, sweet. I done been through this like a thousand times already. This is going to be my hmm, seventh C section. I have eight children. I'm going to have eight children. Uh, this is going to be my seventh cesarean. So I kind of already know like right off the top of the head the things that I need. Um, yeah, things can change. But um, for my knowledge, I, I, sh I should know the majority of everything that I need. So with that being said, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start out with baby because she's simple. I got her some um, sensitive skin wipes. I got three different um, onesies, t-shirts, however you want to call it, um, to put on for each day. I believe I'm going to be in the hospital for three or four days, so one for each day. And just in case she messes up her clothes or whatever the case is, um, I am going to pack three more white ones, the long sleeve ones that I already have as well. Um, I'm gonna go through the day. So I have these mitten, three pack mitten and headband set that goes perfect with her t-shirts that I just told you. So happily, um, so I'm excited about that. Um, we have two socks. I think I'm gonna get two more, um, just in case. Babies always, for some reason, find a way to kick off their socks and lose them. I don't know, but I'm gonna get two more to put in the bag. This is this is her first day photo shoot outfit. So basically it's a tutu. It's a headband, but I think I might tie it in the back because it's actually really, really big. It's really big. It comes with two little booty things. They're supposed to be shoes, but it's just something to put on the feet to make it look cute for the pictures. So we have two of them. So that is one outfit so she can take pictures in. I don't know if I'm gonna put a t-shirt on it when I um I, I actually saw this on um Etsy. I forget where I seen it at, but um, I hope you guys can hear me because my AC is it's hot in here and I'm moving around, so it's 
is very, very high. Um, I saw her somewhere. I liked how it looked. Basically, you put the outfit on and the baby is uh, positioned laying down flat on the uh, stomach and with the head tilted to the side. So you don't really get a chance to see like the chest or anything like that, which is a good thing. So I think I'm going to do that pose. Or if I want to do another one, I'll just get like, um, I'm going to see if I have a, a short sleep white tee. I don't know if I bought short sleep white tees. I have a bunch of long sleeves, but I'll, I'll check and see. And I'll bring a short sleeve or a long sleeve white tee to go under just in case if I want to do it the other, um, the other way. Take the picture the other way. Okay, so that's that. Okay, this here is a cute little uh, going home outfit. Something comfy and cozy. Leg leggings. She have um, a t-shirt and a bit. So now, one thing that I did forget, I don't know how I forget, but I just remember that I forgot to pack hats. So even though the hospital gave you hats, I just wanted to get like some, if I can find um, a pack of all white hats, um, that would be great. So I'm gonna run to Target tomorrow and just see if um, I can find some. Um, what else? Okay. This is a blanket with a bobby attached to it. I thought this was so cute. I got it from cookies. I think it was like 10 bucks. It's so cute. Even though babies are not supposed to lay on pillows um, when they're first born, but I can probably use it to like take pictures or whatever. I won't last sleep on it for too long. Um, yeah, but I thought it was cute. With the little elephant. And um, her sheets of her uh, bed is pink as well, so it'll kind of go with the um, the blanket and stuff. So cute, nice and simple. Um, not too much stuff. Um, I think that's it for her. I just have to do the t-shirt. I have to put the t-shirt. Um, two more extra socks, and I'll get the hats from. Target tomorrow. I pray that they have. All right. Um, I do not bring pampers. You get pampers from the hospital. I'm not bringing my pampers from home. I ain't gonna use wipes because the hospital they do not carry wipes. They have something called um, washable cloths, like the reusable cloth. I don't like those. They are hard for the baby butt. So I'm just gonna. Bring, I might bring an extra um, thing of wipes too because you know when the baby first come out, they do number two a lot. So, that's, um, gonna get an extra pack of white. That is it for baby. Very simple and sweet. Not too big. So, for myself, I have two, um, two mumus. They're like old lady nightgowns. My mother-in-law bought me these, um, cause I do plan on breastfeeding, so I wanted to find something that, um, has the, front open. I don't really like hospital gowns like that. But um hopefully this will work. So I have two of those and I also have my um my other nightgown that I like to wear. It's so very comfortable and soft and stretchy. I'm getting that washed right now. So I'm gonna pack that in here as well. Also I have extra duffel bag that I pack. So I could bring like, you know, extra goodies to my hospital home or, you know, sometime um, when you're leaving, I know at the hospital I'm having a baby in, when you're leaving they give you like a, a, a gift basket and, uh, you know, when the nurses switch shifts, sometimes they, um, you know, leave you with some extra papers or whatever, whatever. So if that's the case, I'm gonna put that extra stuff in here. Now, toilet sheets, very simple, very, very simple. I did forget one thing, I'm gonna go out, when I go to Target, I'm getting two um, deodorant, dove sensitive skin, lotion, um, soap, um, wash rag, my bonnet. I'm wearing a wig, so it might come off, or it might not, or I might just cover it up, 
who knows how I feel. Extra mass, just in case we have some guests, which I doubt it because um, the hospital says no guests. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how this will work out. But two toothbrushes, for me and Chris, um, toothpaste. Um, I have to get cocoa butter as well because I don't use lotion. I only use oil or cocoa butter. That's the only thing I like. So, um, I'm going to get cocoa butter, small cocoa butter from Target. And I also had to get, I'm going to get some, um, the hospital provides with pads. Um, I am going to be using those, but I'm also going to get me a pack of, um, like, the Depends, because I feel like they're more secure, and they're more secure. Let's just leave it at that. Okay? So, very simple. Chris doesn't have anything in this bag because he's not allowed to stay for whatever reason. My school is very strict, and it's been like that since our, since major. I don't know. I had all, every last child and the same hospital. So, uh, yeah, that is it for me. It's very short, very simple, not too much stuff. I'm not overpacking. I'm not doing all that. I am going to be, my breast pump thing comes, I ordered one. Um, I'm going to be using the hospital's breast pump. If I am not able to, oh um, um, if I'm not able to use their breast pump, then what I will do is uh, just run out and go get one. Have Chris go get one, and the one that comes in the mail, which is, it should be here any day. I got two more days left, so the one that comes in the mail, what I'll do is just send it right back. So that's just my option for right now because I'm really trying my hardest to. Get this baby breast milk. I don't want her to get nothing else if I can help her. Oh, I forgot one thing. I'll show you guys when I get to the hospital, um, which is very important. I wanted to show you that I found on. Huh? No, no, no. I'll just wait. <laughs> That's promised. I'll, um, I'll just say, say something. Okay. Thank you. Um, something that's very important it's pills. Um, that I found online that had very, very good reviews on it, but I left it in the car. Um, I'll show you once I get to the hospital. So, that is it for what's in my bag because I'm going to bring a lot of stuff. Oh, of course, you know, I have my um, my go home outfit, which is very simple. I forgot all about that. Crocs and a nice sundress. That's, that's all that it's going to be. Simple. Washing that right now. A black sundress and my Crocs. Comfortable, sweet, you're going home, and that's it. Um, I am going to bring a little bit of makeup just for my eyebrows. And that's it. Yes. So, you got a charger right here. Headphones is in my purse. That I will be taking to, um, and that is it. That is really, really it. Um, and if I did forget anything by chance, um, Chris can always go back home, come back, come back home, and um, pick it up, or maybe run to the store and pick it up. It's not a big deal. But I will keep things short, simple, and sweet. Got the car seat over there. We didn't uh, do the installation part yet. Um, and that is it. I feel like this pregnancy went by really, really quick. Except for like the last month. Or maybe around the time of when it's like everything been dragging. I guess because I was in my final um, weeks. And it's just like, homegirl gotta get out of here. So. Um, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was short. Um, I just wanted to make sure I get the 
this video out to show you guys. It's very simple, nothing too hard. Um, you don't have to overpack. I hate to see people with freaking the big 20 inch luggage. Unless you're putting you, your baby, and your spouse clothes in one bag, then okay, that's fine. Got like three pairs of shoes, like you're going on vacation, 10 outfits for the baby. You don't really need all that, like, you know, your choice, but your baby can't wear high school clothes. Your baby can wear the hospital pampers. Your baby can, um, you know, use the hospital stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Last thing I um I wanted to say, I am gonna be going to the grocery store. I think the night before, and I'm getting um a couple things as far as like snacks and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of um, hospital food. Only certain things. It depends what it is. But I will be getting stuff like um, Lucha Grain bars, um, probably some water, extra water just to have, um, you know, gum, like little, little snacks that I can just um, get my hands on when, you know, if Chris is not there right now and maybe I don't like what they have at the time, whatever. But yeah, they just use the hospital stuff. It's okay. Nothing is going to happen. Use it, pampers, wipes, the baby t-shirts, your sleeping blankets, save your stuff when you come home, and it's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my little bag, let me show y'all. Like a little carry-on suitcase that I'm gonna be taking, nothing major. And I have my duffel bag for the extra stuff um, if I don't have room in here. And um, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, DM me. Follow me on Instagram. Um, at Bianca Middleton. Um, and you can also follow me on uh, the Middleton Game page. And the, I'm going to do the, um, the shout outs right now. So the first shout out is Miss E. Thank you so much for always being one of the first ones to um, tune into our videos um, all the time. The second one goes to, um, I think it's Reeling. Reeling. I'm going to put the name down below because I don't want to say the wrong thing, as I said before. And the third one is. Um, Santana. Um, yes, so I thank you guys for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for the next.